Hello all, welcome back. For performing dynamic analysis, we require FRIDA. And FRIDA requires a rooted device. Now, as soon as we root a particular device, there might be a chance that the application has provisions to detect whether a device is rooted or whether the application is running on an emulator or not. If root detection is enabled inside the application, the application won't allow you to play with any of its functionality. So it becomes very important for us to bypass this root detection. Rooting is a process of unlocking an Android device in order to access higher administrative privilege controls. Most Android developers do not want their application to be running on a rooted device since this could lead to security concerns and impacts. However, root detection is not strongly implemented. This is the same case with emulator detection as well. We can easily bypass root detection as well as emulator detection using various methods. In this section, we are going to have a look at four different methods of bypassing root detection as well as emulator detection. The first method is bypassing using FRIDA. In order to bypass root detection using FRIDA, we first have to install FRIDA, which we have already seen in the previous video. We can check for application package ID by simply running the command frida-ps-ua. We can hook the frida jailbreak or the frida root detection bypass script. And then we can simply bypass root detection very easily. So it's the demo time and let's have a look of how you can bypass root detection using frida. So in order to bypass root detection using frida, we can run the root detection bypass script this particular script you can find it onto this particular link or if you have your own script you can use your own script as well for me i have created my own script so i'm going to use my own script and we are going to bypass root detection by this by this particular application that is andro good as you can see if as soon as we click on check root you can see there's something called as devices rooted for emulator detection you can see that this is an emulator so let's first bypass root detection. In order to bypass root detection, we are first going to go inside ADB shell and we are going to start the FRIDA server by going on to its particular repository. Once we hit enter, we are going to go inside our root detection scripts. You can in insert your own root detection scripts or if you have a uh, downloaded it from somewhere you can download it as well okay let's run the command frida-ps-ua let's identify the bundle identifier which in our case is going to be wasp.sat.agood now let's try to bypass the root detection by simply writing the command frida-u-f we mentioned the identifier bundle identifier and we give the dash l switch and we give the root 8.js script as soon as you hit enter frida is going to get hooked up the frida script is going to get hooked up and now let's check if we were able to bypass root detection or not so let's move down let's go inside root detection and let's check for root and as you can see it says that device is not rooted let's check if we are able to bypass emulator detection or not and as you can see over here it still suggests that this is an emulator so let's try to bypass this emulator detection as well so in order to bypass this emulator detection i'm going to run a new script that is emulator.js the script or this particular script i will be sharing in the resources section once i run this particular script now let's try to check whether we are able to bypass it or not let's click on check emulator and as you can see over here we were able to bypass emulator detection for this particular application so i hope you understood the first method of how you can bypass root detection as well as emulator detection using freedom thank you